Hello, how y'all doing? It's Jared. This is kind of a pocket dump video. I don't normally do pocket dumps. This is just my general EDC kit that I've been carrying around for the last little bit. I bought all of this stuff off of Blade HQ. Most of the stuff I'm going to talk about actually in this video, if you're interested, a lot of them are, you know, a lot of these things are still in production. And I've been working for the last little bit to get as much titanium in my EDC kit as I can. You know what I mean? Everything that can be titanium, I want to be titanium. Just because I think that's I'm kind of a nerd, you know, and I do have a little bit of an obsession with titanium. I, I'm, a little, you know, I'm 30, so when I was a kid, when I was, you know, 10, 11, titanium was still a, a more of a rare material. It wasn't used nearly as much. It was a lot more expensive than it is now. The prices have massively gone down, and so there's this, still this stigma in my head that it was just beaten in there because I know that it's not true, but there's this thing that I've got in my brain that titanium is this special material. It's like the space age material that's so cool and it's so fascinating and it's really expensive. And well, you know, when in, re in now modern times, that's just kind of not the case anymore. It's becoming more and more available as time goes on. The process is to actually produce it and manufacture it, get the oxygen out of it to actually make it back into a metal is we're, we're, we're getting better at that. So, I have the ability, that gives me the ability to get all of this stuff in titanium, which I just think is really cool. This is a Benchmade 1100-16 tactical pen. It was originally this color of blue all over, but you know, I wanted to see the actual metal itself, and so I just sanded it down. I did flame blast the end of it there. I did that just as a demonstration to show somebody uh, that, you know, what titanium does when you actually hit it with a torch, just to, you know, that's why that's still there. I'll probably re-sand that off at some point and give it another polish, bring it all up to this just kind of matte gray titanium but that's really one of the reasons I love it is it's just a fantastic material it's very light it's very durable you know it's got all these really interesting properties it has almost the same strength as a mild steel but for you know 60 percent the weight you know it's just a really cool thing and I like the aesthetic of it you know it's got this neat gray kind of color it's darker than steel you know it's not the same color as something the steel this is a Maratac TI this is a you know titanium titanium little uh, lighter here. It's just a you know, little pocket lighter, very small, very, you know, very light, compact. It's nice to carry around. And I saw that they have one in titanium and I had to just pick it up. This has been kicking around in my pocket for a little bit. You can see it's kind of beat up and a little bit scarred up there, but I think that's really cool. And this one here on my keys, if you're familiar with the key bar, this is a product that came out a little while ago. You can actually convert your keys to some, I mean, it works kind of like a like a pocket knife. You know what I mean? I've, I've got four keys on here and I modified these keys because this actually, my, the, my truck key here used to be a lot bigger. It was a lot fatter. And so I actually sanded it down. You can kind of see I didn't really finish it too well. So I did, I modified these keys as well as this one in the back here. This is the Civic key. I did modify them just to, you know, make, make them fit a little bit easier into the actual thing. But this is carbon fiber and titanium, which I just think is really cool. It's heavy. It actually adds a lot of weight to my keys. And so if the weight is more of a concern than them stabbing you in the leg, the key bar is probably not for you. But if it's more of a concern that your keys are constantly jamming you in the leg than the actual weight in your pocket, this thing is freaking amazing. I really like it. It's pretty cool. This is a TI Survival Split Ring. It's the titanium split ring. This is the key ring on this on my keys is actually titanium, which I just think is pretty cool as well. It's also on my dog's collar. Possum's collar has a titanium key ring holding her tags on, which is pretty neat. This is a again TI survival titanium bead. The USA kind of motif flag bead there. It's just I that that's just some hokiness that I think is just freaking awesome. I love having this thing hanging out of my pocket, sparkling in the wind. You can see how I mounted it on here is I just melted a ball of paracord. That's actually paracord that I just threaded through, melted it, you know, on there and then threaded it through, melted it down. And that is actually the skull from the CRKT Obaki that comes with the Obaki. I don't actually know if it still comes with it, but you know, I just stuck that on there years ago. I've replaced the bead since then, but so that's kind of cool. This is a, what is this? Mech Army LF-02. It's a little uh, little tiny EDC kind of flashlight, keychain key style flashlight. It's a 360 lumen max. It's got four settings. There's, you double click it, turns it on, 
brighter, brighter, and then you have to triple click it to actually get to the max and then click it again to get to the strobe. So it's not the absolute best light for something like defense or, you know, it's not going to be a tactical light at all, but it is just a really good little EDC tool. It's very light, very handy, and I kind of like the way that it's shaped. It looks, it's all futuristic and crazy, but it is also t titanium. This is, you know, just a black and tight, with titanium with the black and finish. It's got a titanium ring, you know, collar around the actual light there, and then the button itself is titanium as well. And this is a Daryl Ralph Mega Bead that I have reflame blasted. Again, this is titanium. The Daryl the uh, Daryl Ralph you can kind of still see on there, but this was actually on my keys. This was in place of this before I had this one in here. It was the this TI Survival. It was this in the same spot, and it had been on there for so long it had just worn all of the color off. It was gray, you know. So I re-sandblasted it, you know, gave it some new color. I actually really like the way that that turned out. It's kind of that blue and purple-esque hue. But you can see actually how I mounted this thing on there. I just kind of melted the paracord down. I got it to the length that I wanted it and then just held it over a lighter so that it kind of melted it in this little ball all together. And that's actually how I got this knot on there. I think it gives kind of a cool effect because there's a little bit of translucency through to it. You can see down in there. You can actually see all of the stuff you know, bashing around and everything like that. You can hear the dog collar in the background jingling around. Sorry about that. She's chasing a ball up and down the hall. But this is a uh, Maverick Knives Custom Pry Bar, actually. Some cu Maverick Custom Knives. This is a little titanium EDC pry bar. I really have no use for this thing. I don't actually think I've ever used it for prying, which was an absolute ne necessity. I've really just kind of found things to do with this, but this kicks it in my back pocket most of the time. I carry that one around. The wallet has nothing to do with titanium, but that it's Stingray, Stingray leather. I think that one's pretty cool. And the watch as well has nothing to do with titanium, but this is a Kalashnikov. They were uh, produced and imported by Boker. It's a, you know, produced by Kalashnikov, imported by Boker. They were discontinued a little while ago. And this is obviously the EDC knife for today. The knife switches up every single day. Who knows what I'm going to be carrying, but this is a Benchmade, what is a 781 Anthem, you know, integral titanium little folding knife. And that's the EDC. The backup knife for today was actually the 3150 Impel from Benchmade, which again has nothing to do with titanium, but I just think is a really cool little California legal automatic. How much TI can I stick on me? That's it. Y'all have a good one.